Well, good morning. I wanted to do a quick recap of the Zoom that happened yesterday. There were only four or five people. So what I'll start doing is uh, Zooming and recording and then emailing everybody <clears throat> that information. So let me do a screen share and go over some of the info that I wanted to. All right. So let me log in here. And this is the teacher view for IXL.com. Uh, I wanted to look at diagnostic. If you have not completed the diagnostic, please, please, please make that happen. You're going to quote unquote step into the arena. One of the cool parts that I get to see and you as well is that there's a big diagnostic overview where I see all of my students and where they, um, they are um, students who have like this bigger gap over here. It means that you may have not spent as much time um, when you have a more specific one like this one, 920. That means you spent quite a bit of time on it and can uh, move forward on that. I'm going to harass Brian like I did yesterday and look at his and I'll show you the um, you can go through the math section and there's all these recommended skill sets to do. That is a good starting point. That's a good opportunity for um, for you to get an idea of where to start. Um, <clears throat> then we have uh, his overall language level and there's several recommendations reading strategies vocabulary writing strategies and grammar mechanics all of your language arts sections are going to be split into those four sections i believe that the reading strategies and the vocabulary building your vocabulary are going to be the most important okay then you can actually print this out you don't have to print it out um, you can click on that just so you can Hopefully this will load up. What I do want to see is that um, I want to um, show you that there's, this is like a checkoff list for you. I like how that is set up, I guess, mentally, that you can go down to the language arts section and look at putting things in alphabetical order, uh, <clears throat> how many syllables does the particular word have? And then you can start checking these off. Once you get um, through those skill sets, uh, you, will, you will see growth and you'll see these numbers move over to the right or increase. These are all based on like 100 to 1300. We're talking about first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then 12th grade and into college. Um, so let's go back here real quick. Um, I do want to look. You have your different sections, learning, uh, diagnostic, and analytics. Your learning section over here is, um, your, again, you'll see math, language, science, social studies, and Spanish. We're going to refrain from using uh, the Spanish section until we pass uh, the GD, then we can focus on a different language. Um, I'm just going to look at language arts real quick. Um, go down to, I always start <clears throat> at levels three through six for everyone. And then as you are building on a particular skill set, you can move up and eventually want to get into the high school range of nine through 12. So let's look at third grade skill sets. Um, we'll do something like just the first one, basic main idea, not a really big deal. Okay. Um, we have a section here that look at these details from a paragraph about whales. There isn't a paragraph because it's third grade. So it's a couple things. Whales eat together, whales travel in groups, whales protect each other. What is the main idea? So you're looking for, um, not something that's too specific or not something that's too uh, broad. So whales, seals, sharks have a layer of fat called blubber. Uh, that was not even discussed in these three little bullet points. 
Um, and then whales often spend time with other whales. Let's see if that's true. So we got that and you'll see over here, your one question answered. That's the time elapsed that you've been on here. Every week I'll be for your attendance, looking at how much time you spend here um, on IXL.com. Uh, then you're looking at the SMART score. I want you to get between an 80 to a 90, okay? Um, if you push to the 100, that's fine. I know some of us are a little, I know I'm a little OCD and I'm uh, thinking to myself, I, I gotta get 100 on that. <clears throat> From 90 to 100, it's 10 full questions that you have to get correct. So let's look at the second one. Look at these uh, details from a paragraph about lighthouses. Lighthouses warn sailors in rocky areas. Lighthouses tell sailors uh, where they are. Lighthouses flash and send different signals. So we want with main idea to get the main thrust or main focus of the article. And then it says lighthouses help sailors or lighthouses help sailors stay away from rocks in all kinds of ways. Let's, I think that's specific. I'm gonna get this one wrong on purpose. I wanna show, uh, show you what that looks like. So yes, we got an incorrect, then there's an explanation, okay? I answered that one and it's not correct. Then there's a little mini lesson about main idea. When you're on IXL, don't just go to the next question and start slamming out ones if you're starting to get them incorrect. Review that the main idea of a text is the key point that the author is trying to make. It is the idea you learn from all parts of the text together. Details are, and that's details specifically are parts of the text that support, prove, or show the main idea. You can use the details in a text to figure out the main idea. The main idea should cover all the details, not just one of them, okay? So I like that about IXL is a little, like I guess a post mini lesson if you get something wrong. And then over here you can, you can jump levels if you want. Uh, and you'll see as you move to fourth and fifth, and I guess I accident, that's the teacher one. I don't know if you can do that. So let's look at science really quick. Actually, let's go back to language arts. Remember I said that language arts is set up into four sections, specifically um, your reading strategies, writing strategies, vocabulary, grammar, and mechanics. You can also mess around. I went by grades. You can go by topics. If you want to go by, let's say you're working on nouns, go by the topics and, and, and do that if you want to. So the reading strategies, you have things like main idea point of view, you have text structure, these things. This is very, very important. Again, all four of your GED tests are going to have reading comprehension involved with them. Your writing strategies, there is a writing component to the RLA, the Reasoning Through Language Arts, that's one section of your GED. We're not gonna super, we're not gonna focus on it in, a, in crazy detail. I'll have uh, specific lessons that I can pull from YouTube actually, and you can focus on them. Vocabulary, I think, is the second um, most important section uh, of the IXL uh, language arts. Building your vocabulary is essential. When, um, when somebody writes a test, they're going to purposely use vocabulary that is not every day. So if you can break down words, break down uh, Greek and, and Latin roots and try to understand that information in a new way or at least be able to dissect the word a little bit better, you're going to see that um, those words that are intentionally there to slip you up on IXL.com are going to be perhaps a little bit easier to get through. Now, grammar and mechanics are very important, but I kind of think of this as a little bit of a review. So if you're really working on a section, nouns, the person, place, or thing, you wanna focus on that for a minute, that's totally fine. I think it'll, um, if you start at the lower grades and move up, you'll see um, success there. Um, so we have, again, this, these are all grammatical things like nouns, pronouns, your verb types, your articles, verb tense. Uh, subject verb agreements, capitalization is huge, and then your punctuation over your commas and things like that. 
okay? So that's your language arts, and you can, again, you click to vocabulary, it brings you to vocabulary. I always think of it that way. Science, um, science and social studies on here are um, looking at grades two through eight. Don't judge a grade kind of by the level because some of the stuff is very difficult. You can go through things like your physical chemical changes. Um, you got biology, um, all kinds of stuff going on here. And again, it's the same idea if you are looking at um, like this one on here, your, your uh, classification of, of matter, whether it's solid, uh, liquid, or gas, you can start that. Look at that one. You say, okay, a stuffed tiger is, is it liquid? No. Is it gas? No. It's a solid. And, and you can move through that. Again, you'll have your SMART score and move to the next section there. So that's your science section. Social studies, again, um, the big or a big portion of um, the GED itself is having to do with American history, um, how local and state and federal government functions, the branches of government. So you can look at like checks and balances over here. That's huge. You probably will see that on the GED and it'll talk about, all right, um, in the diagram below, circle stand for three branches and how they kind of function with each other. Yeah, the executive go back and forth with legislative and the same thing with judicial. That's, they all hold each other accountable. Okay, the House of Representatives can officially charge the president with a crime, which error on the diagram stands for this check on executive power. So House of Reps, that's legislative and they can, um, charge so we're looking at these sections so i believe it's this one let's see if we got it boom we got it cool so social studies you can play around with that okay your analytics for you is going to look a little bit different but you can see the time your skill sets you've practiced your achievement like already in the last couple of weeks let's go uh, we have um 15 000 questions answered uh 118 hours that you cumulatively spent and you can see who's working and how long they're working okay so it's going to be imperative important that you um, get as much of that done so um, these individuals probably come wednesday tomorrow or thursday i'll start calling you guys and, and seeing kind of where you're at and why <laughs> some stuff hasn't been done. I can also look at a live classroom if need be. It's a little bit difficult because we're doing the um, distance learning, but if we were in the classroom, I could see if you were struggling with a particular issue uh, and then move forward on that. So then I wanted to look at newsela.com and I wanted to um, show you. Um, some of the articles and kind of what that looks like. Where is it? I already assigned these. This history of Florida. Let's look at these tech sets. So you have maps up here. That's going to be geog uh, geography, which is social studies as well. Um, I was primarily trying to look for this article, which I actually assigned today. Where is it? Maybe it's in the assignments. I wanted to show you, again, I, I just assigned this this morning, so you don't have to go crazy on it yet, but I'll always have a little bit of instruction here. Again, I wrote a little photo history for you this morning. Remember to do the following, highlight, underline, important, essential information, find and identify the who, what, when, where, why, create a three to five, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, sentence summary and conclusion, and then you want to get a 75 to 100% on the quiz. If we can go back to, let's look at this. This worksheet, I'm gonna try to convert it into Microsoft Word 
and send you something that you can um, type in. But you, again, the New Zealand notes, you want to focus on vocabulary, want to get that critical info, the who, what, when, where, why, as well as a uh, decent summary. Okay. Uh, moving back to here, I do want to, let's look at it. Again, this is the teacher view, so it might be a little bit different. But I have already gone through this text, and I wanted to show you, again, I'm somebody, again, I've been teaching for almost 12 years now, and this is the kind of thing I need to, uh, the kind of highlighting and underlining that I need to do when I look at an article so I can go back to it potentially as um, I'm trying to learn about it, talking about Florida being um, first people there 12,000 years ago, and there's the names of the tribes, and then we talk about the Spanish conquistadors, Ponce de Leon, looking for silver, um, talking about um, who, who has discovered, quote unquote discovered, but um, from Europe who's discovered, and at what time frames that happened, and, um, our Native Americans, the Seminoles, talking about here, this is kind of some of our, the quarter, we have, what we have on the quarter, as well as state flower, state animal, a couple of uh, capital Tallahassee, Cape Canaveral, Orlando, um, talking about Florida, where the name came from. Um, Spain's Easter celebration was called Pascua Florida. It's the Feast of Flowers. Um, Florida, again, is a peninsula. Um, talking about that, touches Alabama and Georgia and the Gulf of Mexico and Atlantic. Um, <clears throat> and talking about the Keys down here, which is, again, this might be a word you don't know, archipelago. That's where a bunch of islands together connected. Um, and then we have that causeway that is that um, could take four hours to get through, through that causeway. Talking about some of the wildlife of Florida as well. Um, some of the natural resources, um, looking at uh, Cape Canaveral and some of the facts there, as well as the 663 miles of beaches, um, 40 square mile park in Orlando. Um, we have a little note here, 20 million um, people have visited Florida annually. Um, talking some more about Cape Canaveral. That is, again, Florida on a map. But this is the kind of highlighting, underlining, note-taking that it takes to get um, those 100% and to do well, especially when we're practicing for the GD. So if that's not been a habit for you and you've read, I know one of my issues when I used to read as a struggling reader, high school, middle school, and elementary, is I'd read all of this get done with it, be asked a bunch of questions and not be able to answer those questions. Um, so wanna prevent that by you doing something with the text, manipulating the text in a certain way, um, which is very, very important. And again, I'll assign New ZLA articles, but there are thousands, thousands for you to do uh, make sure you go ahead and try and use that worksheet, whether it be a digital that I try to send you now, or you want to print it and it can be a physical one where you write out. And there are anything from sports to money to health. All, it's just such a varied, um, in regards to, I guess you would call this the news is um, current events and then your libraries. You can, I think of that as like topics. So if you want to read art and culture, science, math. Again, if, if you've already passed the RLA, some of my students have talked about that yesterday, focus on US history, world history, opinions, it, focus on these and build that background knowledge so that uh, science and social studies is much easier when you do take that, okay? Um, so I think we're good to go. I'm gonna upload this, stop sharing. And I am going to 